Your Royal Highness, Minister, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to be here today. And let me start by saying how grateful I am to all the hardworking people who have organized this uh, conference for us. I think it's also it shows that our city may have done something uh, right. I am truly grateful for, uh, to the work the outreach service do in our city every day, uh, all the year. 45 years ago, the very first outreach service, Uteseksjonen, in Norway started targeting young people. In 1969, people in this city believed that something needed to be done to ensure that all young people were seen and helped. It was believed that early intervention uh, initiated, by out, initiated by outreach services would be an efficient method to limit future costs to society. Less unemployment, less psychiatric treatment, less crime benefits our society. But even more importantly, the absence of these factors provide a better life for each individual. 45 years later, the outreach service is an important tool in the districts of Oslo uh, for early det uh, detection and identification of troubled youth. Utesektion is part of the central and greater Oslo uh, division, uh, division of the Agency for Social and Welfare uh, Services. And the services provide uh, a street-based outreach, social work and healthcare, targeting at-risk youth. Utesektion targets individual in all age groups but has a special focus on children and young adults up to the age of 25. The city has a responsibility to intervene with young people at risk of de uh, developing various social or psychiatric problems. Our goal is that every young person in our city is met with respect and with an aspiration of a rich and happy life. Outreach employees work with a long-time perspective in mind. They know both the local communities and the people who live there. They see changes in an individual or at a group level early on. They see bullying, fighting, escalating drug abuse and racism. They see the early stages of new gangs and they often listen to stories of child uh, neglect, neglect and abuse. The outreach service is there when things go wrong. But even more importantly, they are there when things turn around and start going in the right direction. They are there every step of the way. They are there when a young person decides to go back to school or stop using drugs. And they are there when negative circumstances stop and many people, young people can look back at their first meeting with our co-workers. Young people can be in conflict with their parents or peers and they are given help to express themselves and to develop meaningful relationships. relationships. The 35 patrols of social and health workers in our local communities meet talk and help at-risk youth every week, all times, regardless of the day or night. The 60 full-time professional outreach workers are on the street, street, in shopping centers, in youth clubs, or at schools. They target young people on the edge and offer counseling, promote participation, and work to create a more inclusive local community. And it works. The outreach workers make a tremendous difference in many young people's lives. They reflect diversity and they can create possibilities. Utesektion's social workers are a key resource for mapping the situation in the streets of Oslo. Every month, they make contact with around 500 registered individuals in the target group, of whom almost 300 receive various professional follow-up and help. Our aim in hosting this European conference on outreach work is for the city of Oslo to share some of 
the experiences Uteseksjonen have had in the past decades. We also hope to learn and to gain new insights from other services and projects from all other parts of Europe. Some key questions are, where should our efforts be directed in the future? What interventions are most uh, effective? What skills and methods are needed to engage, when, to engage with marginalized groups? How should we best coordinate outreach efforts? And what will be tomorrow's challenges? Uh, and how can we provide service and types of training that are needed to meet those challenges? These are just a few of the questions I hope will be explored and discussed during this conference. And I hope the conference will encourage our outreach workers to stay even longer in their jobs. We know that developing the right skills and the high standards uh, that is needed in outreach works takes time to build. I firmly believe that well-coordinated long-term efforts carried out by, by professional outreach workers have a tremendous positive impact on the life of marginalized young people in our city. I would like to end my speech with a war, uh, very warm thank to all of you for your hard work. And on behalf of the city of Oslo, it's my honor to declare the conference open and wish the best for your stay here in Oslo. Thank you very much.